Hello world. All right, so in video 109 on my channel, I used OpenCV to perform face recognition. So I plan on using face recognition to authenticate the usage of my digital assistant. So only I can, so hopefully to do some face and some voice recognition, and then some sort of wearable suit where it scans your face and it determines that uh, you're an unauthenticated user. Uh, that's in the future though. So you can watch that video by clicking here. But I recently found what I feel is a better, more comprehensive face recognition library called DeepFace. So you can watch the library's author's YouTube videos here where he goes much in much more in depth. Uh, Sefik Ilkin Serengil. Um, and so he has a, a pretty good YouTube video running through a Jupyter Notebook. And so um, I just made a quick uh, deep face verification um, program. So let me just show you real quick. So I have this uh, picture of me right here. And so what it's going to do is going to take a picture of me using my webcam. And then it's going to compare it to that picture I just showed you. And then it's going to say access granted or access denied. So it says scanning face. Okay, face scans complete. And now it's going to compare those pictures and it says access granted. So let's see what picture. That's pretty embarrassing. But uh, even with the headphones on, it was able to detect my face. Okay. So this scanning face and face scan complete, these are just printed statements uh, to give the effect of it actually scanning my face. Um, so now let's go through the code that you see here. Um, but first, welcome to the 157th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch me build this uh, digital assistant or if you're interested in facial recognition, robotics, etc. Like this video and leave a comment if you use the deep face library for anything. Alright, so now let's go through the code. So first you're going to have to import CV2 and you do that by uh, pip installing opencv-python. So you can do that from the command prompt like that or you can go to file, settings, go to whatever your project's called, then the Python interpreter, and then you want to find the uh, um, Python open CV, oh, I'm sorry, open CV dash Python, okay? And then you uh, import it as CV2. Uh, the DeepFace, DeepFace library is just pip install DeepFace, so you can do that. So um, I have a lot of people on my uh, router right now. I have some family over. So this kept on failing um, due to request timeout. So if that's happening to you, what I recommend is maybe just pip installing TensorFlow by itself since it's 442 megabytes. So maybe just pip install that. And once that successfully installs, then do a pip install DeepFace and it takes like five minutes. All right, then we have this little function where we're going to take a picture. And this is all we use uh, OpenCV for. So like I said, I printed that scanning face. Then you're going to do a uh, variable called cap equals cv2.videocapture. Uh, one is my webcam, but a uh, USB webcam external. Uh, if you put zero here, it will use your laptop or desktop's default camera. Then we do a uh, ret and frame equals cap dot read. Then we're going to do cv2 dot im write, so that's image write. Name your uh, picture or something. So mine was called image one, and then comma frame. Then you're going to destroy all windows. So cv2 dot destroy all windows. Then you're going to do cap.release, and then I printed face scan complete just to give it that cool effect. 
then you call that function and then so you will already have this picture from this function here so then we're going to do image 2 equals just me uh, that's just what I called it that's this picture then you're going to establish a model name called a uh, face net with a capital F so if you watch his video here uh, a facial recognition library for Python he recommends using that uh, face net for the standard model because he thinks it's the best and he's the author so we do what he says then we're going to print uh, I called it authentication equals deep face dot verify then you're going to pass it this image one underscore path equals and then pass it the first image so image one then image two underscore path equals then you pass it the second image which is what we did here and then model name equals and then we establish that model name here there's several different kind of face models um, now we can print this let's let's print it all right and, and let's uh, not take a picture since we already have it so it goes faster so let's look what um, here let's just look at what the whole authentication looks like or the dot verify so now it's not going to take a picture it's just going to compare these two right here and print out the results that you get from this deep face dot verify so you get this verified true you get the distance you got the max threshold you got the model which was the face net and then the similarity metric that it uses cosine so all I wanted was the true now just be careful this is not a true string I found out I did I ran into some issue trying to say if this authentication verified um, so what I did first it was I did it like this equals the string true and uh, it wouldn't pass so this is a uh, the data structure is actually true false so you could just do this this is the Python way of doing if authentication verified so just this part just the value of this it so it just says if authentication verified that's the same thing as saying if authentication verified is true then we print access granted which is what you saw um, else print access denied shutting down system uh, I did not sh program it to shut down the system that was just for effect so pretty simple code here the deep face library can actually do a lot more than this um, but this was just a simple show of this right here so I recommend going to uh, the author's um, YouTube channel and checking it out yourself and, and so just to do a quick comparison though this was the um, code to use OpenCV or CV2 to um, do the same thing so we took the picture this code is actually the same then we um, loaded the file established a CV2 color then we use these face locations face encodings and then you have to set the um, this it draws the rectangle it's like a purple rectangle I think that's what that color is um, then you uh, load load it attach the CV2 color around the sample image so we have the fa my face which is what um, I took a picture of and then we did this uh, encode sample face test using face coatings and then you uh, you do this face recognition dot compare faces so you take the encoded face the sample face and then you get a string result same thing if the result string equal true then uh, same thing user authenticate else print authentication failed. so it's a little more comprehensive um, of code and you kind of have to know CV2 um, or open CV sorry so this deep face is actually a lot easier if I didn't have this silly uh, you know access granted simulating giving me access it would literally be you know just these lines right here four lines all right so I hope you enjoyed this video please like it if you did uh, please subscribe to my channel 
and thanks for watching. Goodbye, world. A uh, quick note that the first time you run this code, you will download the um, the H5 file, which is the 92 megabyte file. And so uh, just know that in this video, I it went quickly because I already downloaded that. So the very first time you run it, it's going to download that file. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.